against McRae, kicks it out. Vives works down the lane, takes on the shot blocker on Yuaka, and he is successful. Tel Aviv have had their worries on the road this season. Badalona looking to exploit them early on as Baganda gets the alley oop slam. You see some of the athleticism that Xavier Mumford gets a piece of it and then the ball is stolen away and in transition. It's going to be the easiest two points of the night for Ante Tomic. He's not going to change his mind. A couple of sloppy turnovers for Hapoel. Led to easy scores and that's probably why they're down by nine points. Final two minutes of the first quarter. Feliz slips into oh Tomic and Tomic just a touch pass back for the final shot. Guy finds Tomic who takes on point style responsibilities and delivers the bucket at the buzzer. This team are having an easy time of things right now. McCray can't get the score on Yuaku's back in the action and gets the bucket. And Yuaku is onto something. But what he's not onto is tough defense on Tomic, the zone there. A good game, both ends of the floor. Hapoel remain ice cold from three point land. And Jordan McCray. McCray into the corner, gets the athletic jump shot to go. And the pressure is on the home team. Feliz makes the three-point shot. Misses the layup. Mumford again streaks down the court, and he gets an M1. Shows his athleticism and his finishing prowess. Brown, no way. Oh, yes way. Jacobin Brown gives Tel Aviv the lead. Run the clock down. Instead, Mumford drives, lays, gets it to go. Only one lower seed has been successful so far. Can Hapoel break that hoodoo? Do something they've only done four times on 20 attempts tonight. They're going to need to make a free three. Zone defense is not enough, and that is going to be it. with the three-point exclamation mark to celebrate a famous victory in the history of Hobbiton Badalona.